13 pound working Jack Russell Terrier. 13 pounds? That's like the size of a New York City rat. Oh, that's a good oh. job. Oh, boy. It's a draw. I mean, it is the size of a New York City rat. Move over America's America's next top model a group of feisty canines competing to be America's next top dog. Save the doggy drama for your mama. It's about to get real. We've got more breeds than ever before. From super mutts to Labrador retrievers, terriers to border collies, the fast and the furriest are about to be unleashed. Get ready for the wildlife. Oh, how cute is that? So a dog and a choo choo impresses you. Are you impressed now? <laughs> this used to be a family show. This season in the first round, these yeah, right. Season two premieres tonight with hosts Kurt Maneffi and David Keckner, and they are both joining me now this morning with a sneak peek of what we can expect. Gentlemen, good eve uh, good morning to you. How are you doing? All right, how are you guys? I'm well. We are doing well. Um, first off, New York City rats. I know. They're, they're large and in charge, okay? <laughs> Um, so dogs competing to be America's next top dog. Just uh, what are we talking about here? Are these professionally trained dogs or can my pet like my Bella, who is half border collie, can she join the competition here? Well, I'll start and, and I'll, I'll say the answer to both is yes. It's a mix of professionally trained dogs who are trained to go over these obstacle course courses. And, and I tell people it's like uh, think of American Ninja Warrior with dogs. We had season one last year. And this year we brought back season two, but a larger variety of dogs. So you see more border collies, more poodles. You see the 13 pound dog. We get Shih Tzus. We get all kinds of breeds. Yeah. Uh, and some of them are just family pets who have learned to run this course. It's all timed. You can see the different events. You've got to swim through the water. You've got to jump over walls. You've got to do all that while listening to David Keckner crack jokes the whole time <laughs> and try <laughs> to make sure you're having family fun. That's what the show is all about. It's just a good time watching the pets and, uh, and just being entertained by television for a change. Yeah, I, I, what was that video, the clip that we just showed? Were you wearing a tutu, David? I believe I was. Uh, <laughs> It was a standard tutu. I think it's called a standard American tutu. Uh, I'm a standard American Shih Tzu. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's such a fun show. And, you know, for any family that has a dog, uh, they're going to they're gonna love it for sure. It, it is a family show. Yeah. It's because uh, the competition is real. Uh, it gets very exciting and intense. There's several rounds every show. So it's, uh, it, it's very engaging. All right, am I gonna am I am I gonna say it? You're gonna get mad at me. To be a, to be the standard of Chitsu, you gotta have hair. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a lot of, and a lot of it. Is it. Wait, has there never been a hair? They should breed a hairless one then. <laughs> I used to have one. I mean, those things. I mean, my goodness. Hey, so let's talk about the obstacle course. A, a lot tougher than season one. So, Kerr, what was added? You know, I, I think what we did was we made it a larger variety of, of, of obstacles along the way. You know, you've got 100-pound dominoes, these big blocks that these dogs have to knock over. And as you saw, a 13-pound dog, you can imagine him trying to do that. But it's the same course that a 100-pound dog has to run, and they go head-to-head -head sometimes. And so it's really interesting to see the different strategies that go along with it. You see there, they've got to climb to the top. They've got to grab a key, which unlocks a door later on. So there are different things that go along as you go through the course that come in handy, um, maybe at a later obstacle. And yeah. I think the big thing is, is that you watch these dogs and they compete. You see the bond between the dog and the handler yeah. uh, and the relationship between human and animal, but also they're hustling because $10,000 is on the line for each episode. Uh -huh. The winner of each episode gets that plus 5,000 donated to the animal charity of their choice. Oh, that's they awesome. get to come back for the season finale for $25,000 and that animal charity donation. So a lot's riding on this. Yeah, seriously, that's amazing. And it's always great to see the, the handler with their dog. You know, usually you only see it at the dog show where they're just running in a circle, right? Trotting around, you only see their sneakers. <laughs> this you get, to, you get to see a whole lot more. How many times did you try to do this course yourself, David? Uh, sadly, they wouldn't let me down there. <laughs> You know, uh, we, we were still doing uh, very strict COVID protocols, ah. so I, I was not allowed to run the course. I thought at some point they would probably put a collar and a leash on me and then have Kurt run me through the course, but sadly it never yeah. happened. Yeah, that's for a different show. That's for a well, the big thing at the end is the dogs have to bite a suspect and hold on, you know, like a, like a crime dog. If you will. <laughs> and I wanted to get David there, but without the bite suit, see, uh, see how tough he is. Right, exactly. <laughs> 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 Uh, Kurt, you're also hosting a new series, An Animal Saved My Life. Awesome show. Some of the stories featured on the show are just unbelievable. Give us a, a little bit of a taste of what people can be in store for. Yeah, America's Top Dog premieres tonight on A&E. And a week from tonight, the Tuesday after the 4th, 
it's an animal saved by life. And there you see it's hidden camera footage, sometimes it's surveillance cameras, people's cell phones, but animals literally saving the lives or, or getting people out of life threatening situations. And it's everything from this one right here where a cat saved the dog or a child from being attacked by a dog. We have people that are being robbed on the street, that a stray dog sometimes wow. comes and save them. One of the great stories is a sea lion saved a guy from drowning in the San Francisco Bay. Oh my God. You know, it's just some unbelievable stories. And again, I go back to that bond between human and animal. I know. We see it on America's Top Dog in a fun and enjoyable, entertaining way. And with this one, it's a little bit more serious, yes. but it just shows the connection that uh, I think all species have on this earth in one way or another. They're amazing. They're amazing. Even just you won me over there with the cat video. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a dog guy, but you just won me over with the cats. You guys, real quick, David, do you have any pets? Yeah, we have two dogs, a golden doodle and a labradoodle. Oh, what? Well, you got a lot of doodles going on. What are you anti hypoallergenic over there? Yes, one of our one of our daughters is allergic, so ah. it worked out. Plus, they don't shed, which is very nice. The I double know. bonus. I know, Kurt. Yep, two rescued dogs. There you go. Abby, who's a ten-year-old uh, lab shepherd mix, yeah. because they're both rescued. The vet kind of guess. And then uh, Toby, who's a six year old uh, French bulldog and uh, corgi mix. So uh, he's got the ears that everybody loves. Love it. Love <laughs> it. Uh, hey, thank you both for being here. Thank you for thank this you. amazing show, too. Season two of America's Top Dog premieres tonight. Kurt and David, obviously, thanks for being here. Come back soon, okay? All Will right. Do. Appreciate it. Appreciate you both. All right. Peace. Have a great day. You too. You too.